lesson 68 you all you all know we can't start a week without knowing what gbpusd is doing let me tell you i want to to always alert you that when you're starting a week you can choose to trade one of the major pairs there are three major pairs we have three major pairs number one it's gbpusd Number two is Euro USD. And number three is Saudi USD. So what I need to, to tell you today, anytime you want to start your week, anytime you are, you're planning for your month, anytime you're, you're planning your trades, make sure at least you pick one of these trades. For me, for now, um, yes, I'm looking at Euro USD, but for, for now, my concentration is on GBP USD because once I know the direction of GBPSD, it will even be easier to trade other pairs. That's why you keep you keep hearing me analyzing GBPSD. I don't analyze it because I love it too much. It's because it carries a lot. The direction of GBPSD can tell you so much about other pairs. So you need to pay attention what you will analyze today. Take notes and then you can apply it. So we will start from the weekly time frame because as we say it from the monthly GBPUSD has already given us a sell. You remember what we did? We said GBPUSD already it is a sell. Why? When support breaks, you see the support has broken. There is no way you can say that this market is a buy and you can see that market broke that support. And for two months, the market has broken that support and it has not. And what do you think this candle is? What do you what do you think this candle did? For me, I'm thinking this is a retest, like the market broke and retested. So, and, and what I keep telling people is that there's this theory that if a support is broken, the market is coming to the next support. So you might find that this market from where it is, it has a potential to sell 567 pips. So why would I why would I go for a buy when monthly has suggested it will sell? So that's the reason why I am now I'm now on a sell side. Not last month, all the last month I was buy idea, but this month I'm sell idea. But you see, it can't just sell. The market first will buy and then sell. And I'll show you how. So when you come to the weekly time frame, the weekly time frame has a double top that is only on where? Only on the weekly. And you see, these are weekly double bot, double top that is only on the weekly. So if you had not spot that double top, it is not on the monthly. Let me show you. That double top is not on the monthly, meaning that the cell has still shown us that it wants to push. So how do we sell so that we can align with the weekly? For the only way we can sell to align with the weekly is to find a reason to sell. You can't just sell because weekly has told you to sell. You have to wait for, you have to wait for any, any signal of a sell idea. So the market is suggesting that if it is gonna sell, it is gonna sell 633 pips up to the half. The question is, what is making this market, what made this market to stop? What made this market to stop, guys? Can you see on our left, we do not have anything, but the market has stopped. And the matter of fact, they have broken a resistance. So the market broke that resistance. So I told you, even if the market breaks, this more so is a one candle, one candle resistance. I told you, most of the time, if this market breaks this one candle like this, most of the time the market buys. But you see, for me, I don't have, I'm not interested with the buy. And I'll tell you why. Because the monthly is not supporting this buy. So chances are 50%, actually we'll give it 50%. 50% chance is that the market is buying up to 1.26. But am I interested with that buy? No, I'm not interested. So if it buys, okay, those people who are bought will make money. I'm not interested in that buy. And I'll tell you why. So the market breaks this uh, zone with a green candle. And we are wondering what really made this market to stop. If we go to the daily time frame, we will know why did this market just stop like that? It's because it had a double bottom. And this is what I have been trying to trade in the month of October. So we were trying to trade this double bottom that was only on the, let me, let me delete. 
so that we can have a clean chart. The month of October, we have been trying to trade this double bottom for the longest time, but the market just moved yes, uh, on Friday, the last day of the week of the month. So the mark, we have been trying to trade this market up to the half, but it has not been possible. The, the only thing that is, that is preventing me to be on this buy, the only thing that is preventing me to be on this buy, and I'll tell you guys, it's because what if the market can give us a cup and handle? You know, you don't just see, oh, it's a buy. What if it gives us a cup and handle? That's the only thing that is making me not to feel I want to buy because there are chances that this market, the same market that you're seeing a buy is the same market that can give us a what? A sale. Can you see? It's the same market that can give us a sale. So why would I, why would I risk a buy and this market can give us a sale? Why would I risk a buy and this market can give us a sale? And and I think that is the that is the most 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 reason that is making me not to buy. So and then, and another thing I'll tell you guys, this is our take. This is our pattern one, a double top only on one time frame. Guys, can you see that's our pattern one, a double top where on one time frame. The another reason for me not to buy is because the double bottom happens to be our pattern two, and guys, like I told you. Pattern two, they are always wrong. They either pull you to the wrong direction or they stay for a long time without ha anything happening. So when I realized I'm working on pattern two, I was a bit afraid. So for me, I'm looking for, can I get pattern three so that I can do what? I can trade with pattern three. And this is our pattern three, guys. So we have pattern three. The market can come there. It has not activated, by the way. Pattern three has not been activated. If you can zoom closely, I was waiting for this market to activate pattern three. You can see they have not activated it. So pattern three, not yet. And pattern three can also be around this area and also can be around this area. So the question is, where will pattern three be? And we need to understand that this pattern three it is not on the weekly, meaning if the market activate and then give us a WBB or a bearish angle, we are good to go. So this market, we can see that they have broken a very major like a, a key zone. So they have broken. What if this trade, let's first check if the, the double tops are on the weekly. Can you see they are not anywhere? making those double tops, they will be very, very strong. So we are looking for pattern three. The question is, where will it activate? Will it activate this one, this one, or this one? Where will this market activate? That's the most important question. So any anyone who is trying or attempting to trade GBPUSD, if you're on a buy, you might be buying because of this ranging. And you're thinking the market can range to there. And that's why you are seeing if this ranging because it's a one candle ranging, chances are 50%. And you can see the box is exactly to our last previous, our last possible double top. So for me, I believe if this market has broken like this, chances are it can still push fast to activate the pattern two. I told you pattern two, it's very, very strong to activate pattern two. And once they activate pattern two, what, what do you think guys will happen? the market will activate either either of the double tops so for me because of the of the many many reasons i'm just hoping to see a clarity so gbpsd um i'm hoping to see a clarity and the reason is the reason for me to say that is i don't want to be involved in a pair that will give me 100 pips and lose for a drop do you know a drop drops from 500, 600, 800 pips? I don't want to miss for, for a drop because I'm chasing a buy. If we go to four hour, if we go to four hour, that's what we have. On the four hour, that's what we have. So for me, I believe that um, the market more so on the weekly because it has broken that one candle, this one candle. The, the thing is, the only thing that this market might not finish the one candle pattern if it activates these double tops. 
So you have to be very, very intentional and, and, and always daily come to check daily time frame what is happening on GBPUSD. For me, I think the next time I'm, I'm analyzing GBPUSD, it will be an entry. A lot come here to predict. I think we have predicted enough. We are the next video you're seeing me doing in GBPUSD, it will be a reacting video. I'll be taking an action. So I, I have done it with you. It's as we wait for us to take an action once the opportunity arises. Thank you so much for watching. All the best. Love you.